Welcome back to this part three to our watch along of Ila Visa Unchira. Uh, the 2022 Malayalam film with Subang. If you saw this on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version. Just like the other two parts. If you haven't seen the other two parts, please go watch the other two parts. And uh, if you have to see the full uncut version, you can never be Patreon. Popular YouTube should roll up in the comments so you can go check that out. And uh, at the end of this part, we will watch it, uh, talk about it, and review it. And uh, let's get back into this, huh? Don't you shut up. No. <laughs> nice! Oh, wow. That's why he wouldn't need. Wow. Nice! Wow! I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I did Just not now. see that coming. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wow. Sir, on the day of the day, there are two numbers in the tower location. There are all the body parts in the body parts. I'm going to retrieve it from the WhatsApp chat. He's going to pin it on him. He's going to pin it on him. Subin's going to pin it on him. He's going to, they're going to say that he found out she was pregnant. And he killed her to cover it up. That's not jail. That's not jail. നിന്നെ കൊല്ലണം ഒരു ആവശ്യം എനിക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പിന്നെ നീ ആ കൈപ്പതി കണ്ടുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രം His shirt, piece of his shirt's going to be there. But he could easily say, Happened. It happened when I found him. Hmm. What a twist. What a what a really nice little film. I uh I remember seeing the trailer, I was intrigued to watch it. Um of course it didn't come here. Yeah, of course. We don't get goat life, so we're not gonna get yeah. small Subin film. Yeah. Um So I did I did not get I did not see that twist coming. No. At all. I assumed there was some kind of twist in terms of like Maybe he didn't actually kill him. There was something that happened there. And there was a reason he wasn't eating. Yeah. Yeah. There was a reason he wasn't eating. But the fact that he made him eat his dead wife, and he was the one that had an affair and put the baby in her, I did not see coming. No. And I think there's probably parallels to that folklore story they talked about that the beginning. Carolites would understand that we don't have any idea about. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I, I can... I, can gather there were probably some folks who felt like it was too slow, maybe anybody who had an objection to it. But mm. um, I think that just added to the suspense and the you're constantly trying to figure out what is going on. Why? Why are we being shown this? That's the thing is it doesn't feel like anything's ever stagnant. We're being shown things on purpose. Yeah, it's um, they they almost made it feel almost supernatural at times. Right. Um, but yeah, I guess it was actually more simple of there's just a lot of lightning strikes here when it rains. Yeah. Um, because those people came in and they went out and he died. But and at the same time, again, the dog died. Right. It, what is it like some kind of monster or what's, but it's just, so it's, it's a, a very, it is a, at the core when it's all said and done, the facts are, it's a very simple story, 
But there is all of that folklore and mythology and superstition. And even then the guys say, as he's walking away, says, well, this is, this is how God punishes people mm -hmm. who do what they do. And I really liked the end that the cop, the officer finding the, the piece of his shirt and thinking could have been because he was just, that's what happened when he found him. But if he is guilty, I mean, we know this guy cheated on him with his wife and if he killed him, I get it. Yeah. If he if he killed him, <laughs> is I get it, it just? Yeah. <laughs> Cheated on his friend with his wife and got her pregnant? I get it. Yeah. We'll let that one go. Um, yeah, very well done. And very, great performances by everybody. Subin. One of, uh, probably one of his better ones because I, I didn't see a ton of Subin. Normally when I see Subin, I see like, he usually has this almost happy demeanor about him. Um, and I think that's probably who he is as a person. Um comes through in terms of he's usually just like this happy he was almost like a almost like a shell yeah which obviously for the character yeah of, of what he just went yeah through. and it's this is one of those roles in those stories where you just go about doing what you're doing you can't think about performance and you're wondering is this going to translate or are people going to be bored out of their mind who's going to want to watch me just sitting on a bus and who's going to just want to watch me having a drink and me yeah um, Absolutely, it's very Malayalam. Uh, yeah, um, in terms of the pacing that it likes to take, in terms of how story driven. This uh, director, I don't know how many things he's directed, but I know he wrote the Nayat Nayatu, which is another crime uh, kind of mystery thriller. Yeah, uh, another really good one. Did um, he also have writing credits for this? What we just watched? Uh, he's the director. Okay, and he also wrote the Joseph. great story. This so, was a great story. So it looks like this is his first directorial debut. Well done. He's a writer. Oh, he has a film coming up called Writer. Who had the writing credits on this? And this is this from an is this from a story of some kind, or was this an original screenplay? It feels like it comes from a. It's an adaptation. Right. Oh uh, uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's a story and screenplay. Story is by Nadish G, and a screenplay. Yeah. Is by he co-wrote the screenplay, yeah. but a pre-published story. Or the story was just written for the screen because uh, they get credits. Yeah, yeah not sure. Obviously, yeah. Really, really interesting story. Good editing. Yeah, good, uh, good sound, sound design. design. Sound design was great. Um, all the performances from the supporting, um, very well weaved for your first. Um, and as a writer, he knows that writing is the probably most important aspect of filmmaking. And lighting. You had a lot of nighttime shots in the rain. Those are yeah. not easy shots to capture. Yeah. Writing's probably the most, imp uh, they're all important, obviously, but writing is, I could argue, probably the most important aspect of filmmaking, um, because if you have bad writing, everything else is going to probably be bad. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's directing the, theater is storytelling, and um, if you don't have someone to write a story. So it's probably the most important aspect of yep, filmmaking. Yep. So it is coming from a writer, him just being, this is the story. Yeah. And then letting that kind of be center stage yeah. uh, of, of the film. And everything else kind of just falls into place. Mm -hmm. But hats off for your first directorial debut. Yeah, you should. That's something to be proud of. Um, uh, because it was keeping me intrigued. Even if some, I'm not one of them that thinks films like this are slow. Now, I'm very much intrigued. Well, and now that I've seen it, I want to go back and watch. Because, for example, Subin's irritation with him when he realizes that he puts the sign down so he can watch the young lovers and be a, a peeping Tom, mm -hmm. that has whole new meaning now when you go back and watch that. Yeah. That adds to his level of disgust of this guy for, wow, you really are a pervert. Was that a fourth wall break? I don't know. I'm Because that was... There were no more. There were no more. So... Um, and that was that was when he came, right? The other very, guy? Yeah, the other guy. The guy. His The guy who had an affair with his wife. It was when he arrived. And... Like that... When the blood was on the stump. Yeah. Was that something? That's his. That's when he was he brought her out. I believe that's part but of she was in the, the house. It seems like he brought uh, her in pieces though. He did. Maybe that's just some random blood. Who kn yeah. Cause that's intriguing. Because that guy left. And then it's, it's I think it's this sequence. But I don't know when in this sequence. 
Does he look straight yeah. camera? It, it was that angle. So I don't know if it's with him or with the other guy. But. It was when the thing interrupted him. Yeah. Clear on it. Or. Set to clear on it. Or. Mundakayam answering. Mundakayam answering. Set to clear on it. Set to clear on it, sir. Over. So oh, it's just off camera. No, it was fourth wall breaking. That glance was just to the left of yeah, camera. Yeah, but then it was just to audio. the right of camera. Yeah. So it was. Uh, also, what does that mean? I also wonder: did just did Subin just have a little boil on his eye that they kept and just put it in the script, or is this true? Well, the, the affair is true because the cops found. Oh it. Oh yeah, the affair is true. I don't know. Liked it very much. Is the blood of the stump where he brought her to No, he was he was chopping her up in the in the building in his house. And then what happened to his eye? No. Uh -huh. He said he got stung. I don't know. It's, it makes you want to go back and watch it again to see what you missed. So, it, if he... Has he done this before? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of unanswered things that can lead you... Because why would you have that thing on his eye? Also, that fourth wall break is really intriguing. To do, and it to be the only time. Yeah. He looked directly at the camera and it was just in his head. They won't let me be in peace. Is what he said, right? Is what the, I don't remember. Um. Set to clear on Over. Munda came answering. Munda came answering. Set to clear on Set to clear on sir. Over. Jee, we can do now. That's, he's not looking at camera. It's just to the right of lens. And but the he, won't let me eat is ADR, and it's that guy. We're not in his head. That's ADR. Oh, so that, he is saying that he's he's not able to eat because okay. he's constantly getting up. Okay. So that wasn't stupid said. That was yeah. in the other that was the other guy saying they won't let me eat. Correct. And it sounded different because it wasn't in the room. Okay. It wasn't captured on okay. the day. All right. Okay. Because that was weird. Like if yeah. the only fourth wall break you have is that one thing that's yeah. okay. Okay. I got it. But there's still other stuff. Like, why is that thing on his eye? What was the blood? Like, did he chop her up and then he was like, no, I'm going to bring her here now. Why show us leeches? Right. Just just because? So for, for world building, maybe? But it's a strange thing. It is a strange and thing. And then they brought it out multiple times. Yeah. You have a bunch of leeches on your leg. Yeah. Clearly he was in a lot of water. Well, that was probably because he was, um, whenever he did it, hiding the body parts everywhere. And I so don't know. It it could maybe I think he just got the leeches while he was walking to the place. Well, I don't think the he, I, it, he had he was hiding the body a whole bunch of different places right? prior to when we catch him at the beginning of the film. So that's probably where the cut come from, and um, probably. But the leeches he got on the walk. The leeches wouldn't have stayed on his body for days. The leeches he just got on the walk when he was going up to the police station. If they find her body, though, they'll be able to... Did they already establish that, that they found her body already? Mm -hmm. And Because they would be able to tell that she hung herself. Obviously. Eventually. Well, it depends. It depends on how degraded the DNA is. Yeah. Really intriguing. Yeah. Um, yeah. What a shock Molly Allen does it again. And even if they did determine that she had been hung, there'd be no way to determine if she had done it to herself or the guy she had slept with had done it to her to cover up his tracks. They would just say that the ultimate original death was death by hanging. Yeah. I, I well done. I haven't been caught off like that with a... Um, yeah. 
a twist in, in some time. Well done. I even got like some chills. I was like, oh shit, that's what he did. He fed her, uh, his wife, <laughs> which is messed up in multiple, <laughs> multiple ways. Um, yeah, man, hats off. That was really nice. Yep. I really enjoyed that. Um, you can tell they had a smaller budget because, like, the fight scenes and, and stuff like that um, w weren't, like, not that it was supposed to be, like, a RR fight scene, but um, I've said it many times. It takes money to make a fight scene look really good, even if it's a simple fight scene between yeah. two kind of regular people. And time. Yeah. Uh, it, it takes money and time. Um, and so that was one of the only gripes that I think I had with it is that the fight scene um, when they were wrestling around um looked choreographed kind of thing um but that's one of the only gripes i, I really have with the film everything else is top-notch malayalam yeah uh and how they <laughs> do what they do man that was a lot of fun uh thank you so much for watching us with us uh if you're seeing this on youtube you saw a very cut up version if you like to see the full uncut version you can head over to patreon uh for this and other malayalam films that we've seen uh recently uh, including uh Tuma Moody films, the one from this year, and then the uh, and Rorschach. Rorschach as well. And, and um, uh, Cothel of the Core. That's a review uh, of one of that one. That's true. Um, yeah, that's true. But uh, let us know what you thought about this film uh, and what should be our next Subin and Malayalam watch alongs that we should do. Um, somebody said the other day our, our channel should be called Our Malayalam Reactions. That's what they said the first year when all we did was Hindi. Anytime we do like two of something that's not their favorite language. It's yeah. Like, uh, might as well call it our Bengali reactions. Yeah. <laughs> our South Indian reactions. Our Bollywood reactions. Whatever. Um, let us know what our next film should be. And anything. What? I would, uh, and I anything. Go. Uh, don't uh, chop up your wife and feed it to somebody else. Well. I, I couldn't do that. It's a so yeah. the, if the guy who cheated on your I wife cut up my wife. So if somebody if somebody had had an affair with your wife and got her pregnant and she was ashamed and killed herself and you knew it was because of that guy. Oh, I, 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 I could probably kill him. I can't chop up my wife, though. But granted, we had a little different relationship. <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't know how much emotional relationship yeah, they had. That's true. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't together. I couldn't. Feeding it to my the, the guy, that's one Ooh. thing, but I couldn't chop up my that's wife. That's like, uh, uh, what was that film, Briani? That's what it was reminding me of. I, don't I, was, I was wondering if I'm we sorry. were going in that direction of Briani and, and Amis. Um, but anyway. I like, eh, kind of gave stuff away, but whatever. Uh, you should have already watched those films. Yeah. Uh, anyways, let us know what our next watch along should be down 